Hello and welcome to the Visual Guys podcast, episode two. Chris? Hey, well, uh, I just said Chris, but I was going to say, who's in the room? Chris. <laughs> and just Dan. There's uh, no bill today, it's yeah. just us, but hopefully there should be another podcast up on Sunday. But Chris and I, well, mainly Chris, we had an interesting topic, a discussion, on the way to the cinema, just in Spider-Man Homecoming. Chris. Yes. What were we talking about on the way to the cinema? Conspiracy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Chris is a yes. bit of a conspiracy nut, and one in particular, which I'm going to bring up first because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> if anybody watches the Joe Rogan podcast, great podcast, definitely go watch it <laughs> or listen to it. Um, then we're talking about flat Earth, yes. and Chris coincidentally said, "I've just watched a video on flat Earth." Yes, Chris, what is flat Earth? Flat Earth is basically <laughs> some people out there, uh, not me, because like say, I think the Earth is round, all that shit. Do you though? I do. do I you, just do thought. You? I just thought it was just interesting. The stuff they were coming out with kind of did kind of make sense, but he's a nut job. He's a nut job. People. <laughs> <a> nut... <laughs> Actually, like say, there's guys out there that think the Earth is basically flat and that we just live in a, like a big old yeah dome, it's like I... a snow globe kind of thing. You can you can argue the whole case when they say we've never been in space, never been to the moon. Fine, that's one conspiracy theory in itself. But why does the Earth need to be? Why can't they believe that the Earth is round and we haven't sent satellites out and took pictures? I don't know. That's one thing I don't. Why, get. why don't they? Why is that so hard to believe? Because some professor that invented the uh, satellite thing. Yeah. And there's meant to be thousands upon thousands of what? satellites <sighs> in Earth. That's going to be taking pictures literally every second, every day. <laughs> God knows how long. It's fucking ridiculous. Yes. You listen but to some people. It's just, it's, just, it's just amazing how some people just don't understand that the picture of the earth yeah. is fake. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast and there was a guy and every time they showed him a picture, oh, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. <sighs> and sometimes you just want to blow, blow your brains out. Listen to these people. But that's one. Mm. That's one conspiracy. That's but flat I, earth. But like I said, it, it's some of the stuff that come out with does actually make sense. It, Going back to the whenever. So no, I'm not saying it's all true, <laughs> but I'm saying that stuff that we're coming out with. And, and also, as I was saying, on the way to the cinema, uh-huh. like the crack with the Antarctic hour, There's a fucking two mile wall, and then there's like literally not. You can only go so far, so and what, the, the government has like literally blocked. What's this conspiracy theory then? What's that all about? I don't know. I mean, that's like the first say, I've heard it's of it. Like so tell it's, us. Like, it's like you say, it could be just scientists, or it could be the end of the world, where they don't want no The end of the know. world. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. The end of the world is in where? Antarctica. Antarctica. North Pole. In North Pole. Sorry. <laughs> no, we, you don't know, do you? That's the thing with conspiracies. I know, because some conspiracies, I said to Chris, it's it's mint, like 9-11 and stuff. There's something dodgy that did happen there. Yeah. But some conspiracy theories, they look too much into it, and they start to believe their own lies. And it just, I mean, none of me and you aren't scientists here. We, no. we don't know any facts, so we can't back anything up scientifically. No, can we shit? But there's just general knowledge that goes into half of it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> explain to us this, what's going on in the North Pole, what you just said there. Well, like I said, you can only go so far into this North Pole, Ooh, and then stop. basically you're just blocked by this, like, government... So it's a man-made wall that stops it? Well, it's not even a wall. It's just, like, signs posted every so far apart. Is there a fence? Is there at least a fence? I think there's a fence there, yeah. It just uh, do fences. not en- do not enter government property or... To be fair, who's going to be walking around the North Pole? Well, yeah, true. I'm just taking the dog out for a walk. It would be interesting <laughs> to know what's beyond that. Why are they keeping that a secret? It would be, but I think as well, half the fact, though, half the problem is... <clears throat> you start to think into it more, because humans are curious creatures. They want to know the answer yeah. to everything. Because you see something mysterious like this, like if there's a random box in your kitchen when you wake up in the morning, you're going to open it, you want to go know what's, what's in there. It's like it's kind of like that. It's like, um, like I, said, I can't remember the guy I was watching, but it's like the theory he was coming out with. You, you put an animal in a in a pen, yeah, spread it so far apart, it'll wander that far, and then thinking, all right, fuck it, I can't go that far, so I'll come back to it. <laughs> but unlike humans, where... Keep going and going and going. Yeah, we want to know what's beyond that wall. We want to try and figure out how we get over, how we get through that. I don't. I'm happy to just sit and chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you you're saying. You want to know what's going on on the other side of that wall. Right. And how long has this been in, over in the North Pole? Because this is the first I've heard about it. This like. has been there for like fucking past like 60 years or something. Area 52. It's like the brother of Area 51. It, it could possibly. It could be... Uh, 
Maybe it's where the lizard people come from. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the flat Earth, which I think is a bunch of nonsense. I can't give you scientific fact why it's not, but it's 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 nonsense. Yeah. This Antarctica thing. For all we know, it could just be a, a random scientific. Because it was a, a it was some guy who found oh, the it. research is coming. Like, it was some guy who found it called Richard Bird. Which of he was course, a, course. where he was like a famous explore, explorer kind of person, but he Half was pigeon. also in the army. He, he had a lot of honourable honor, honor, medals and honours. Yeah, he had a lot of medals to from the army and right. whatnot. And he was the, one, the world's youngest person to do some. <laughs> <laughs> Name this guy's army. description. Yeah, an army bloke, just an army bloke with yeah. loads of honours. Yes, but he was also an explorer kind of person. Right. There's a book. There's a book about it. It's called, called. I don't know what it's called. Oh. He's called Richard Bird. B Y R D. Son of a pigeon. Yes, and he went. Obviously, he'd explored around the world, and he went to the North Pole. He managed to get over the big two meter high wall. So that was wall. that was already there. Yeah, he managed to get over the two meter high wall, and that's when he noticed his barriers. But he was saying that there's a lot of, like nothing lives there. Uh-huh. No animals. Like, like, no penguins? N- not, not, well, he said there were some kind of penguins, but they're like further down. Right. But it says behind this barrier, there's nothing there. Behind this like security fence yeah, kind so of that, thing. I mean, obviously that was curious because we know it's like Area 51. Yeah, you there, so you it'd be interesting to know what's behind there and how far it goes. I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to have to look into that one because that's the first I've ever heard about that, that actual thing. So I'm going to have to look into that one. Anyway, a more famous conspiracies... Let's talk about the biggie, the the one that every conspiracy theory talks about. That was nine eleven. Yeah, that one I will grant is a hundred percent. You know, if I will, the US government there. were behind all that with the blowing up the the twin towers. George W. Bush. Yeah, send them into Iraq. Because the way the planes flew in, uh-huh. they wouldn't have collapsed the way they collapsed. They collapsed from the car park onwards. Yeah, you see, so the they kind of like imploded on themselves, the, then the, dropped down. The best footage I've seen is uh, there's some woman reporting on it's English news, and she says that a building's gone down due to the planes crashing. But as she's given that statement that it's gone down, the building's still in the back, and then it goes down after the interview. It's like, well, how did you know it was already? What's mm. going on here? That's that's the biggest bit that I I seen, and then there's all like the controversy. There was that guy was ah, he given an interview on the street corner. And apparently he was not panicked whatsoever, and he was just stood there looking the other way, recording people's reactions and stuff, which was a bit skipped. Like, what the hell is he doing? Just yeah. there is loads of weird ties, and then you got like the the, the Pentagon attack that happened. Was it after the, the towers? Was yeah, it? that was after. Ah, George W. Bush, what are you doing? Going for oil? Want oil? It's money. It's yeah, oil. It's, it's all. It's always money. Yeah, it was. Uh, a lot of people say it was just a chance for the Americans to just. You know, rally behind the American flag and give an excuse to invade. Some people that say it's it's part of the Illuminati fucking. That that one thing, thing I but... do not believe one <laughs> no. one thing. The Illuminati is a group of superheroes in comic books. That's not Mister Fantastic in it for God's sakes. <laughs> Illuminati is not real. There's no organization that sit there. Like, isn't Illuminati all Assassin's Creed and stuff? Basically, it's a load of. Powerful people. Well, you see, I've heard it's billionaires and stuff, but then I heard it, it's the world's smartest minds that come together and discuss. Yes, it's just a lot of billionaires that came together and just want to try and control the world. And apparently, Beyonce is in it. Apparently, oh yeah, yeah Jay Z yeah, and yeah. stuff. Jay Z is in it. Um, it's like but it's, it's one of the rumours you can sort of spread. Anyone can spread. You can say, oh, it's this, and the word of mouth goes wrong, goes wrong. And it gets to enough people, and then they start digging. They, they claim to find him. Oh, they've got a try. Anytime you see a triangle now. Yeah. Any triangle. Oh, Illuminati. Someone chucks a triangle. Oh, Illuminati. Illuminati. Ah, just does your fucking nothing. Too many people qu- ask questions of why, 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 why. And then but I don't believe there's like, a group. Like I said before, us humans where. There's a word I'm looking for, I can't think of it. Curious. That's the one. Hey. We're curious. We can't just say, yeah, curious, right, George. that's it. I get. I know I get that. And you for us to get why further. that's it and For us to get further, we need to. I just don't know. I think 9-11, I will give you this North Pole thing you're on about. It could just be Except science. I'll look into it more. And yeah. we'll obviously I'll re-get, bring I'll it back re-get. on the next discussion. Illuminati, there isn't a group. There's a group of people that run countries. It's called a government. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. <laughs> I know that's a fact. I don't believe that there's some secret organisation. Like fucking National Treasure with friggin' what's his name? Hmm. Fucking Tom Hanks. Not Tom Hanks. What's his name? Come on. I can't think. 
You know what I'm on about, though? Yeah. Well, I can't remember his name. I don't know. He's a huge meme everywhere. It'll come back to us. There was someone listening to this now saying, <laughs> shouting his name at the at the screen. Uh, and another one, another biggie, JFK. There's been a lot of talk in the conspiracy world about JFK. Yes, JFK. Again, this is another conspiracy. I started Nicholas saying. Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Carry on, JFK. Well, uh, as the story goes, Oswald was the guy who shot JFK. Yeah. That's what you know. Mm-hmm. But the conspiracy goes that it wasn't Jeff Oswald, it was his security guard who shot him by accident, spinning himself round yeah, yeah, to yeah, shoot I've that. Oswald. Um, I read a, I, I wouldn't say I read, but I watched a documentary a couple of days ago about Oswald, and mm-hmm. he was part of a US Army kind of thing, mm-hmm. and they went over to Columbia to train with them. And apparently yeah. it was them that wanted to kill JFK. So yeah, well, definitely, yeah, because was it during the Cuban Missile Crisis? Something like that, was, yeah. It? Was it? Yeah, I think it's the right time period. Yeah, and um, him and a couple of others were planning on killing JFK. Yeah. But if he got round to it or not, I don't think he did. Or if he even, well, maybe he got a shot off shot and maybe he did hit him because I think he got shot twice. Or yeah, there's something I seen that he got so shot twice. I there's don't a video think he you can actually watch. did the kill shot. I think it was his security guard. So that was all just a ruse to stop the American government in their tracks. Yeah. Take out the head mm. of the American government. Hurrah. Yeah. So is that, can you call, call it a cataclair? Call it a conspiracy then? Because that sounds like a done-dusted case to me. When when the way you've just explained that and the way I've heard stuff, it just sounds like a done-dusted case. They know who it was and they know it was possibly a group of people. Hmm. But they, they, they all want to play blame Oswald because they don't want to say, like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, we shot our president. <laughs> kind of yeah. thing, and they've called and they've pushed the security there at the time. They've pushed them all to the side, and this is like, "Shut up! Don't say a word. Again, <laughs> leave it at that." You kind of fine for a miracle, man. And here's one actually, right? Right, JFK. Right, I, I you think what you want on that? It, uh, was it Osama bin Laden? That one was weird because why did that's the one they got in the cave and dumped the sea in the body and the mm. body in the sea? Why did they do that? Because everybody that was in the helicopter also died, didn't they? Mm. Or that just that's got red flags all over it. Because we've got a couple minutes left, I'm going to end up on this one. <laughs> what happened in that one? That one, I'm not sure about. If they well, they went in. They found that they found him in. Uh, well, it just, was us. It was British that found yeah, him. Yeah, I've heard but, that. Yeah, it was the Americans. That oh yeah, the Americans fucking stole the limelight from us. Come as on, they hurrah, always hurrah. Does. You're not seeing. You're not seeing Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. The, the, the Americans won the war without without our help. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, no, but yeah, they found him. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was in a house. But then they fa- they got his body. They, they killed him. They took him over the sea and dumped his body in the sea. And then everybody who was in the helicopter died. It, wh- wh- why are you dumping it in the sea? Why don't you, I don't know, publicly bury him or or friggin' burn him? Wh- whatever you're going to do. It just doesn't make sense. Again, it's the government covering up shit. Maybe they weren't, I don't know, maybe they, they killed him. Well, yeah, they wanted him. But I don't well they were meant to kill him or were they meant to question him. That's a, well, I don't know. The, the, what I what I seen it was a couple of years ago. Now they just running and just pure blasted loads of bullets. Mm. They probably couldn't even ID it. That was him. It's like Tupac when he died. Somebody said they talk about they can't ID him because he something about apparently him he's shape. still alive. Ah, oh, Tupac's not still a fuck. Every time, every time the seventh of the seventh comes along, <laughs> Tupac's coming back. Tupac's coming. No, he's not. He's he's fucking. He's in the cinemas. Like, well, it's not yeah. him. It's an actor portraying it. <laughs> That was conspiracy theories. I don't know what you guys think of that. I don't know. All the load of weirdness. <sighs> it's stupid. <laughs> I think the thing I want to end on saying is you can find anything or any truth in anything the more you dig. Like I said to Chris, I said, I, I could probably somewhere along the line try and make you believe Pokemon are real if I dig enough. Yeah. Like there's a sight in there, there's a sight in there, and this happened all You can all make anything come real yeah. if you believe it. For a long time. Some conspiracies definitely true. Chris, you got any sign off words for any any lovely listeners out there? This is DJ Danny G. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, let us know what your thoughts are on this conspiracy conspiraciness topicness. In if you agree, you disagree. If you want to interact with us more, we'll talk about more into certain ones yeah this, it was a serious tone this week we'll try and get a bit more comedic down the line yes well when Beale comes on you can't have a comedic <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was just a, a it was random, Chris a random up, yeah. top, to- topic that I brought up this morning and we ended up doing a podcast on it mm-hmm. kind of thing so yes thanks guys for watching and as always don't forget to like subscribe share 
and we'll see you in the next video. See ya!